Kairos first tent yeah. in the game. Um, okay. So the only things I've got changed on this, we have fewer cities. We're down to 20 rather than 25. They have slightly more population. Kyra has subscribed! Boom. By the way, are you recording this? Because, uh... I'm streaming, streaming. this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this, that is works too. this is currently being streamed. Also, Kyra, rename yourself. Okay. Oops. It's in the... There we go. Yes. Right. I was going to say, because, like, um, Mara, when he actually had his YouTube channel, that was, like... It is, this is most viewed video, video like... and annoyingly, it's the first thing that comes up if you search me. Well, titled... it doesn't anymore, because his channel is gone now. Well, it used to. It used to. This is, this is yeah. sad and true. Well, yeah, that, that was hilarious. You'd search, like, DevCon, that'd be the first one. It was for a while. Wow. It was so rather bizarre. Name, be the first one. All but right. you want to know something, Shadow? When you search my name on YouTube, our uh, Gribblies match in... Um... In uh, the original XCOM comes up. <laughs> Hello. That is a Connors you hear, Debbie. We are going to play with nukes. We got random start locations turned on, and um, Kyra, we're going to go at slow speed to start with, just because you need to learn what we're doing. So okay. we begin at DefCon Five. Everything is peaceful. On the left hand side of the screen, you have oh. radars, Yay. silos, air bases, and fleets. Radars allow you to see things. These are important. If you cannot see things, you will you will get nuked. So you want to kind of protect your territory as much as possible with radar line of sight. Next, your silos. This is where your nukes are. This needs to be protected. Because ultimately, this is how you win the game. You also want them reasonably hidden where possible because you don't want them being detected if you can avoid it. If you fire from one of these with nukes from there, yeah, you're probably going to get nuked, Debbie. Um... You fire from these, they appear on the map for everybody else. They will see you. Just as an FYI, we have somebody in South America. Who's that? Me, hello. Agan's in South America. Carol's in North America. Uh, Connor is in Russia. Not even Africa. So this is a little bit of an interesting spread with this. Usually, the best place to be is the India place because Russia inadvertently protects you. This is true. Okay, uh... Alright, you must place all units before DEFCON 3, so you have five minutes to sort that out. Fleets, three things. Battleships, kill carriers. Uh, subs, kill, uh, subs kill battleships. Carriers have um, nukes. I've never quite worked out whether you should have a mix or not, but, you know. Uh, mixes work okay with battleships and carriers, but not submarines. You want your submarine fleet very separate. You want to send them on a mission and you want to try things. Oh, I didn't want that. Didn't want that. Didn't want that. How do I cancel? There you go. Space to cancel. There you go. I, was, I nearly did exactly what Connor was explaining. <laughs> I actually don't know whether that's even any good here. Enough. I do not want the menu up, thank you. Let's send this over to... Well, I, I, I think... <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, you can't send fighters... Yeah, this, this is a very interesting spread indeed. Yeah, because you're kind of isolated up there, which means you potentially. I, I am some... very like normally Russia is the worst spot to be because you have both China and Europe to worry about. But without oh, those, those two, you're actually this actually is a fairly <laughs> even board. Oddly, I know the Americas look yeah. dodgy, but but South America uh, is really spread no, out. No, because they'll be fighting each other quite a bit. All right, so <laughs> well, actually, there are things you can do here. For example, I am going to propose a ceasefire agreement with you, Chiron. Oh. So if this happens, our things will not attack each other. Where's the diplomacy? Diplomacy is allies at the bottom. Oh. oh. So wait, you have a cease agreement, a ceasefire agreement with Chiron? I have proposed one. He's not actually agreed to it sure. yet. For now, why not? For now. 
as far as I can Megan. tell. It's like, you can cancel at any time. Oh, actually, I can do this. If they're gonna team up, we should, because, like... Oh. Sure. Uh, Shadowhawk is requested to join my... No, team. you weren't supposed to mention that! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Well, he's... Egan. Egan, quickly, join us! Um... Oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so, how's Russia feeling? Alone and isolated. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly the way it should be. Um. Well, I'll vote yes, but I think you got two other votes here. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll vote for apathy. Can you even deploy anything here? I'm not even sure you can. Where is the vote again? Uh, hold on. You'll see. If you go into if you go into the Allies screen, it'll it'll do that. <laughs> Why don't we just oh. all ceasefire now and say have a nice day? Have a nice day, sir. <laughs> well, I'm, yeah, I'm planning on having a nice day with Russia. I mean, okay. Uh, well, you join the red team then. There we go. Note? Yes, you may have already noticed, Carol. These can be broken at practically any time. That seems perfectly fair. I have watched this play before, but I'm not actually... The yeah. good news about what I've done there, and it might help you out as well, is you know where everything is, with the exception of their subs. Ah, that's information you get. Ah, okay. I see. That's why I did the shenanigans. That doesn't necessarily help, because you know where everything is, but you can sort of see how things are spread out. If you get rid of their radars, they can't see. If you get rid of their silos, they can't fire. And you have positioned all your silos reasonably towards the back. I also see that Connor has set up the traditional airbase attack from um, Ikertsk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, why not? He's not got anything to defend that, actually, so... Oh, wait, he doesn't? <laughs> oh, okay. you, have, you haven't seen that, have you? No, he's basically got two no. radars in front in that area, but he, his nearest silo is near the second radar, so... Wow. Um, hmm. oh. It might well be. I can't claim we're any good at this game. We probably are the worst people <laughs> to watch play this game. But we're gonna have some Actually, fun. Actually, no. I remember. I, I remember. I I slapped Dylan fucking silly with bombers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, maybe true. It may well be true. I don't know if that video is still up on YouTube. I, I was I was actually in Russia that. No wait, no. I was in China. You were in Russia. Right, DEFCON 3 has been triggered, so speed is still at slowest because I think that's where you've got it set to. This now means that our fleets will start attacking each other. Oh. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. So one of the important things to do is to use all your resources here, but try and protect your nukes. Mixed fleets usually is a bad idea. I concede this. But again, I didn't claim we're any good at this. The person who was good at this was Slime Boy. He always managed to somehow creep his way to victory, which is why I prefer the diplomacy modes. Because you can do a few shenanigans. Well, I think, yeah, I think my Atlantic fleets are going to are gone. Yeah, I managed to deploy slightly faster than you on those ones, so. We'll see no, I, 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 when I was deploying, I was thinking I was gonna be also against Connor, so uh, uh, I uh, caught uh, K Carol. So, uh. Well, you know, this is how it goes. This is how it goes. We've engaged in aerial combat over Alaska. I can pretend it's not doing. Yeah, 
you get close enough, you can knock out a couple of his radar towers. That are there. Or oh, I could be lying about that, but you know. Okay. Why am I getting adverts with Firing Simulator? God damn it. It's because Connor's it? here, and apparently this is what he loves to play these days. I try to watch your stream, Shadow, but all I get is... Oh no, there we go, the advert's playing. Now we're off this to the stream. Okay, let's see. Oh god. Well, I've dealt with a couple of Aegon's fleets at the very least, and he doesn't seem to have a lot else going for him, so I'm saying I've got control of the Atlantic other than Connor. Who actually has nothing in the Atlantic as far as I can see, so I get a claim control of the Atlantic. I basically have control of the Pacific. Well, to be fair, there's nothing in the Pacific worth having. <laughs> So that is very important to know about. Look, you don't need to know Fighters. things. Look, don't worry about my fighters. Oh, I'm not worried about your fighters at all. I mean, it was kind of silly sending them there because I know where all your stuff is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing with those planes. Like, I, was, ah, I guess I sent them. I can't remember if I sent them up before we did our alliance swapping, but. Ah, uh, probably. Dun, 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 okay, dun. DEFCON 1 in about a minute 30. At this point, we can fire the missiles. Good luck, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, somebody slowed the game down. Is that Connor preparing missile fire? <laughs> well. Yeah, yeah. The, get, the thing is, we do have fewer cities, so in theory, we're easier to defend if we position that way. I don't think I necessarily have, but you never know. Uh, I need to prepare for certain things, so... Of course you do, of course you do. I, uh, I have to give orders because it appears that the, uh, the situation is escalating. Oh, I wouldn't have said that! It's all fine! It's all fine! I mean, what could possibly be escalating right now? Six, five, four, three, one. Okay, so, Chiral, it's important to know here how scoring works. You start losing points for each of your casualties, you gain points for each of your kills. It is actually possible to win this game without firing a nuke if you were silly. And your opponents were as well. Okay, the ward is fairly silent. Who's gonna be first? It's okay when no one fires any nukes. Well, you know, I mean, it's perfectly fine. Maybe nobody will feel like firing nukes. Also, very reasonably bad tactics is what I'm doing there, but it doesn't matter. I don't think there is much tactics in global thermonuclear war. Oh, there are tons of tactics. 
The tactic most importantly to be used is do not die. <laughs> Good tactic. Do not die is best tactic if you can do it. Also, I could really do with a speed up unless somebody really needs to do things. Yeah, I'm good now. Okay. Alright, Aegon is the aggressor. Aegon is the aggressor. What? Nope, you started this war. And I will Don't finish it. Con one. We were a DEF CON 1. <laughs> you might have been. Well, uh, by the way, I hope you like the Western Seaboard. Or, suppose, didn't like it. Tyra launching. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I see you. No, 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 don't nuke it. No! Right, target selections are all good. Just detected. All right, Connor's up fifteen points. He's got some nukes hitting. There isn't much of the west coast left. <laughs> yeah, there really isn't. <laughs> no, it's going to be bomb. So, bombers, you have new orders. Ho oh. ho! I lost oh. a couple of radar stations, which is not good for me. That is the jackpot right there. Oh, I think Thank I, I nuked one of Aegon Aylin, Silos. I am going to be nuking Silos like mad. Well, um... Fire Oh, I see Shadow. Look, I had to. I had nukes already on the way to you. <laughs> I did, and somebody just reminded me I lose points if um, I shoot my ally stuff. It's fine. It was only a slight warning. This is my RCBM is basically denying Aiken because I think he's fired all his nukes now, which has some downsides. Ah, uh, yes, yes, it does. Really, oh, was either fire all the nukes or lose the silos? Well, no, because the silos are the things that protect from nukes. Yes, but fuck, fuck a war on so many. You. I was gonna. You are launching so many, I had no choice. What do you mean I was launching many? I wasn't launching that many at all, really. You were launching many. Many, indeed. I hope you don't mind your silos not existing anymore. That happened. Oh, look, an airbase. Yeah. Oh, crap, I never actually used them. Ah. Hello. Shadow. Hello. Um, remember how you thought I had no fleet in the Atlantic? Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. Actually, we're fairly certain I remembered you having something up there, but... Oh, 
those bombers are lost. No bombers there. Well, ah, you'll get some away. Ooh. Ah, I see lots of submarines in the north. I've kind of had to gamble on something here, so <laughs> we'll see whether that works. Also, yay, none of my subs died, and all of them were recently successful in destroying Aegon's board, so, um, yeah, I now have no idea what to do with these guys. <laughs> oh, I think I hit my ICBM. That's not good. Oh, I think mean, Kyra's got some points on me here. I assume they're Kyra's. They might be Aegon's. No, they're Aegon's. No, Aegon's got some critical targets. Well, I've gotten hit by a few things, but otherwise... Yeah, you survived that reasonably well, actually, so... Hmm. Alright, how's Chiral doing? Chiral's a plus seven. Depends how many nukes he's got left. Yeah, that's gonna change in a second. Right. Uh, uh, mostly because my bomber force has delivered its payload. And you underestimated how many submarines I had. <laughs> well, you had the same number of submarines as everybody else. <laughs> yeah, but I only used three in the initial launch, so... <laughs> Well, I mean, my subs basically destroyed Aegon, and that's my point uh, score for the moment. <laughs> hmm. Can right. we speed up a bit? Yeah, hold up, I'm just deploying fighters. Yeah, one thing to be checking at this point, by the way, Aegon Chiral, is there's a nukes um, icon which basically tells you how many you got left. Oh! Oh! Oh. Well, that's interesting. Alright, Kyle oh. has left the alliance. Oh, Hello. Is that how it is? Pretty much. Curse your sudden and inevitable betrayal. <laughs> it was inevitable, let's be honest about this. I'm losing a lot of stuff here, unfortunately. But I get my score high because I've done damage. The important thing on my perspective is to just try and nobble Connor a little bit, but that's going to be difficult. You can try. It's going to be difficult because of the way you deployed this. I was hoping to crack it partially with the subs, which is main, the main reason I tried to go there. I should have waited a little bit. Uh, time to deploy fighter screens. So are you trying to have this left inside? Uh, Endgame hasn't reached yet. It will at a certain point. So Connor's up to 50. Kyra's at 25. I'm going to have to do something here, I think. Um, I think <laughs> there's too much... <laughs> Look, what's a few nukes between friends? I don't know. I mean, there's already too much heading for you, so... I was actually more interested in how many nukes you've got left. Uh, oh, hey, you got 81, you got 81 nukes. You really need to fire them. And wait until the right moment. Yeah, that moment will apparently be when Connor went this too far ahead. Because I've used up most of my scoring opportunities. Oh. Well, in that case, I won't redirect the noobs I had going to you then. <laughs> 
Well, you've destroyed my submarines, but they got their payloads off, so... <laughs> yeah, I realized that that was a thing to do way too much. <laughs> yep, I don't really care about the subs so long as the nukes are okay. Yeah, no, priority's correct and all that. Oh no, can we please move to speed two? What are you doing? Yes. Uh, you don't need that much. You don't need that much precision. I do. <laughs> it's global thermonuclear war. You don't need that much precision. I've uh, lost the silo. I've lost another million. I've got a feeling my score's going to start plummeting from now on. Two point eight, yeah. Connor's gonna overtake me here, and it's just whether I can actually do anything to him. Problem is, he's got that little uh, fortress up top, which is a pain. So if that hits, that hits will help. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> Well, I'm down to 61, and uh, that's as far as it goes. I must I'm either... also inadvertently protecting you, which is annoying. Yeah, this is the thing. I mean, this is the downside. Being on the lower end of the map is always an advantage in this game. Uh, that is something I have. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much finished from here, I think. What have I got left? I have 18 nukes, and I think all of them are in the air. He says spotting one more nuke. I'm on positive score! Carol, if you've got anything, you need to start hitting, um... Violet, he's the highest clearance of color, sir. Therefore, you go into timeout. Nobody insults Violet and Ultraviolet citizens on my stream. By the way, attacking Egan's kind of pointless here, Carol, because he's got basically no population left. Oh. You haven't killed. Well, you've killed half the population of Caracas. Uh, he's got the lowest in terms of point score. Uh, my name is too long, so I can't tell how many people I've got left alive, but I think I've got. Um... Oh, good. Radar destroyed. Yeah, I'm honestly kind of dead here, so don't worry too much. There's <laughs> still some reasonably populated cities, though. Ah, uh, Pacific Naval Dominance is nice. <laughs> well, when America's got to split its decisions up, this is what the only weakness of the American starting position. <laughs> they have to hedge on the fleet's employment. Because South America can, to an extent, get around the bottom of the map, but America really can't. to lose some more things. And Carol's going to earn some points here. Come on. I think that's the thing as far as finally arriving. Thanks. Silo destroyed. There's a... Right. Connor's on 81. I'm on 63 and starting to plummet a little bit. Carol, if you can get some good hits on Connor's and my cities, you're probably in a good shot to win this. Depending on what you've got so. left nuke-wise. Ah, uh, that's where you're hiding, you sneaky bastard. Yep. Egan's down to minus points again. See, this is what happens when you break alliances with me, sir. 
I declared secret of life at the beginning. You let you were part of it for a good long while. So uh I can confidently say that Central America doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure there was a lot in Central America. Actually, there's a couple of good cities in there still. Yeah, six three there were. five four five three three five. Depends how many nukes you're gonna fire at it, but well, he's still got about. I can see ten things. population points just there. John is up to 106. I have one nuke left. And it's going to go on a desperate attack on there, rather than where it was actually going, because that would have been a pointless thing at this point. Equals for each man or woman. 20 tons of TNT. I think we're dealing with bigger things than 20 tons of TNT, sir. Well, for each person in the world, 20 tons of TNT. Okay. Apparently I have three nukes now. I was only showing one a little earlier. Where have I got my other ones? Oh, I see. Shall receive this allocation. Well, might as well go for some desperation points. I do technically have some... <laughs> that doesn't sound like a bad idea, but I have apparently found some more missiles. So we're firing those first. Uh, nukes. These are almost guaranteed to not hit because of, unfortunately, lack of targeting options. I've still got a 13 million city. No bomber. He has the entire west east coast. Why weren't you bombing the east coast? Because you destroyed my entire fleet. Your point being? I didn't have anything to bomb the east coast with. <laughs> well, if Kara's got a few more nukes in the air, this is probably me falling the third. You know, unless somehow these missiles hit target. I'm almost certain I've got some extra nukes to fly that. Given he can see it, this is almost certainly going to hit target. Brave sacrifice, 200 of 500 achieves. Oh. Oh. Well played. You had a subfleet still available, did you? I have nothing over there. Yeah, but. Oh, you mean the exact same. Car Carol, did we have the same idea? Except you got there five minutes earlier. Yeah, this is the problem, unfortunately. The subfleets oh. cross Pacific, hope to get there and die. Yeah. Well, I can't do much. I did try to take out the radar station on that side a while ago, but he has started the silos up, so he's That's not going to be able to defend as well. That is true. I won't be able to defend as well, but... The missiles are going to be in the air. Yeah, that's probably logical going after the silo. <sighs> or, oh, no, okay, there we go. Come on, if you, if you let me in this alliance, our overall score beats him. MRPMs have such a medium range. <laughs> there we go. Radar destroyed. That's perfect. Carol moves to second. Carol does. Now, the important thing is can you do 30 points of damage? So I don't think from his cities you got a lot of targets for that. Nope. 
Jones. Who still has them left? <laughs> that sounds like a well, start of a bad Victory timer PSA. has begun, so we now have that long to finish the game off. PSA, nukes, who has them? <laughs> Connor, we don't I need to do be at I definitely we... owe a lot of cookies to the streams from various um, rarish betrayals and shenanigans that have um, gone down the years. Oh. I do have to write hugs and fudge, though, this is true. It is almost definitely job one. Will you play more? Defcon? Yeah, we're going to keep going this for a while. Um, I mean, this game's been quite long because somebody's insisted on being at a slow speed for quite a lot of it, but we'll get another game oh, or two. I'm now. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's just we are definitely an endgame and I've got nothing to do, which is why I'm complaining. <laughs> I mean, you know, aside from sending a fighter fleet over Kyrol's bombers that keeps coming at me. I just need to. I'm trying to inch my fleet, my subs a bit. Oh, Kyrod, you can do some damage to Connor. You can win this. Yeah, the issue is this targets in range. Yeah, the MRBMs are not. Wait, you're going there? Right. Oh, change of plans. I mean, they're always supposed to be physical cookies, you know, but... Alright, this would be a great time for you to reveal, Carol, that you've got a fleet up up in the north somewhere. He doesn't. I killed him. <laughs> I know, I know, but it'd be a great time for him to reveal that, because now the defences are down. No, they're not. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Press escape. Did not quit the game. Uh oh. I might have a chance of stealing second! <laughs> Join the loser alliance, Aegon. We have we have cookies, they're not for you. Oh, oh I'm back, okay. Mm. See Aegon. Or is that Shadows? No, that's Aegon. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. I've successfully eaten. Huzzah! Right, in. Well, we have about 24 minutes of game time before Connor is declared the winner. Yeah. Oh, come on. Kill the world achievement. Ah. Yeah, you just got that. Ah, but did you kill Santa? Because we did. Well, not, not at the moment. Uh, I don't think he's uh, on at the moment. Car. So, now that I've completely exposed the northeastern seaboard, it's getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, no. do, if you do enough damage to him to knock me into second, I'd be quite happy, but... I might, actually, at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, but then again, I'm also targeting you, Shadow. Yeah, but so... I've got no population left. This is true. Oh, a bomber? Nice try. Come on, and I'm... Entire missiles hit something. No. They are famously terrible. Yes. Okay, another million lost for Egan. Yeah, and I can't inch my submarine fleet any closer. Well. On the plus side, Cairo, it seems as if you're going to have the most survivors currently. Unless uh, ten, these next 10 minutes are going to be fairly brutal. Nah, because there's that one silo that's still there. No. Oh. Well, you're going to finish a solid second then. Yes, but we don't have a week to play this game. I have a working life. Well, if that one missile can hit in the next five minutes. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm just moving to speed four because this is kind of now definite endgame. 
Yeah. Egan, you got 22 nukes left. Boom! <laughs> They're all in the subs that can't get anywhere. Well, why did you put them somewhere useless? And why do you have 22? They should have 30, surely. They've been swimming across the Atlantic. Yeah, the but Pacific apparently this means two of them are damaged. Uh, I'm not going to get to nuke Shadow, oh well. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a lot left to nuke, actually. I mean, I've got an undamaged city, but... Oh. But victory to you anyway. Uh, yep, Chiral had the most survivors. I had the second most survivor, the survivors. Um, Chiral, you did 3 million collateral damage to an ally. You lost points for that. Wait, what? You lose, <laughs> what points, you lose points for nuking an ally. I would say this is why I had to suddenly kick Connor out of my alliance because I realized I'd send nukes over to him. Uh, oh, but yeah, I, I made up on that score. Oh, no. Sh uh, purely by having kills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, actually, uh, to be fair, a lot of your population survived because that big center, those free silos, I couldn't do anything about them for quite a while. I was hoping my sub fleet was going to be able to crack them. That was my entire game plan. I went too early. Because for some reason, I thought you'd fired one of them. No. Nope. Oh, well. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to post a new game then. Uh, right, I will. Uh, that was that was a good show. It was a very good show. Good show. Jolly good show, chaps. Go on, jolly good show. Okay, I'm gonna up the city count and I'm gonna keep the population as it is. So we now have, okay, um, we have thirty cities to defend this time. Not like we could have defended. Actually, you know what? The, <laughs> we'll, go, know. we'll go to we'll go to best game mode. What's the server name? Oh no! <laughs> Shadowhawk. <laughs> okay, so it's, this is uh... Sakairo. Oh, I see. This game is diplomacy. Diplomacy. We all start on the same team. The game continues. Ah, I see. So now, when you leave the alliance, is a good indicator of how you should play this game. Also, I'm gonna just do one thing here. We're going to have random territories again. Ah, Who is the new player? Uh, Dylan, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. All right. He was, he was here before. So remember, secret alliance. That means that it's now going to be a catastrophe. <laughs> We're playing with nukes. It was always going He's to be. He's called disaster, Dylan, not catastrophe, Dylan. I need to grab an hour drink first with that and all stuff. Yeah, but I also recall that Shadow's one word description of Dylan was calamity. Yep. <laughs> See, he left the room and all a <laughs> disaster. It's calamity. We're all doomed. Everyone start do do doing the waiting music. Well, all the beeps. I can't do, do that fast, sir. It's right, we, we all take like one or two notes and then just, just make a horrible cacophony. Of the same notes and I mean, personally, I was wondering how we were supposed to do to do like crying children and stuff because that's the soundtrack of this game. This is true, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is apparently Egan's definition of crying children. The Mars Eisley feature. Yeah. It is the sound of misery. A wretched hive of scum and villainy? Yes, that is the sound of a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Also known as Egan. The man who can't get farming equipment around a telephone pole. <coughs> Indeed. So well, he just keeps sitting there on his desk answering the telephone. <laughs> so just remember, the one who breaks alliance first usually wins. Uh, or suffers greatly. No, no, no. They, they suffer greatly, but not completely, because everybody's aware that the rest is going to happen at some stage. You, and usually what happens is they get a few nukes but you save them because you of course want to you know you want to defend your own territory so you don't want to go all in on somebody oh where am oh, I I'm in Europe this means I'm just defending everybody and being unhelpful 
Oh. See, oh. if you hadn't forced random, I would have taken that bullet for you. Oh. Europe is oh, one hey, of the Hellfire, worst okay. maps in this. Oh, I'm Russia. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm Africa. Okay. Um, the only good thing about Europe is the fact that basically you have mass silo defense. Yeah, you have pretty good defense. But... You always Mexico. Oh, not me. The, pro the other problem yeah. is everybody sees the defense. Yeah. Everybody can see it and it gets overwhelmed this really is, this quickly. This is the one advantage of leaving the Alliance immediately. Because then nobody knows. Get them Mexican battleships. Can we still deploy after this first phase? Yes. Yeah, you can deploy in DEFCON. Uh, but I, you can deploy in DEFCON 4, only... but you cannot deploy in DEFCON 3. Huh. I have decided not to be sneaky and try and wait. I'm just going to go straight out there with all my stuff. Whoops. Oh, hi, Carol. Oh, you can't deploy a less than six fleet. No, you uh, can't. No. Yeah, you can. I've done it. Yeah. You just click the gallery thing. You click the little, the little cross. Well, apparently, button. you can deploy ships in DEFCON 3, but oh well. Yeah, I, that's why I said I, I think you can only deploy fleets uh, um, after a certain point. Okay. So the good news is, for this game mode, we all start on the perfect 100 points, which means all your civilians are alive. The game score is entirely dependent on your population staying alive. So I have a question. If we're all allied, why have we gone to DEFCON 4? Well, you know, tensions well, have risen. You know, we well, run out actually terrible. We run out of cookies at the negotiation table. Oh, oh, also, was... have, you oh, seen the, have you seen the G20 summits? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who, yeah Who's I hosting have. Uh, oh, Toronto, Toronto, Toronto went. Well, clearly well the Shadowhawk is, yeah. so Europe. I mean, Europe's a mess anyway at the moment, so you know. Only mildly. Only mildly. Perhaps Spain Europe. is threatening to annex uh, Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Exactly, that's exactly right. what's happening. This is, this sorry, is going we'll to start global, uh, global thermal Switzerland. nuclear war over okay. Gibraltar. That's it. <laughs> I could see it happening. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody remind me. doesn't that have nukes them. though, so that could be fun. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of why I found it a little bit funny that Spain was getting uppity again. It's like, mm, what was Spain proposing to do against the UK if we said no? <laughs> All right, we well, are now oh, in Con Three. We can now attack the person who's not allied to us. Grumble, grumble. Uh, rubble, rubble. At the Star Wars. I'm watching you, Dylan. I'm watching everybody. I once was as meek as a newborn lamb, I now is a Megatron. Well, the good news is nobody appears to be wanting to break alliance at this stage. Despite oh, yeah. the fact that they oh, usually yeah. always win. <coughs> I mean, we don't have to go to war. This is true. We could end in a six-way draw. This would also be the worst game of DEFCON ever streamed. <laughs> Actually, it would be the best game of DEFCON ever streamed, because the only winning move Nobody is... Dies. The only winning move is not to play, but we've already started playing. Well, I mean... Also, we have. Also, how could I not attack Aegon? I don't even know where Aegon is on the board at this point. But how whoa, 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 can we not? Why are flat friendly ships firing on friendly ships? No, that's uh, sonar. Oh. Oh, it, it is actually possible that um, 
Somebody can be sending somebody stuff broke over. Su somebody broke the ceasefire. They haven't, but they'll be suffering collateral. Potentially. Uh, woes from, uh... <laughs> Marishan is attacking Dylan. Marishan is attacking yeah. Dylan. I, I, I feel we should kick him out of the alliance at this point. Darn it, you noticed. <laughs> I did, yes! I, I vote to kick Marishan from the alliance. <laughs> well, that's how you want to play it. This means Marishan will win. I'm just pointing this out. Marishan will win. Marishan always wins. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Defcon 2. Hmm. Oh, come on. Alright. Power! I will start uh, moving my forces then to assist. <laughs> <laughs> we will remain strong! <laughs> Europe and Russia, fire. best friends! <laughs> See, Mar really? Marishin leaving the alliance, or rather getting booted, just then everything was kicked. We shall remain strong! Clearly, North America was here. <laughs> we shall remain strong and united. <laughs> Very united. Uh. Look. <laughs> Come on, the same. Ah, this is mean. <laughs> Abandon mission. Cancel all orders. I actually meant to try and get him to join our one, but oh well. <coughs> Shenanigans. Shenanigans have begun with two minutes to go. <laughs> but look, Marishin suffered casualties. Marishin is the victim in this war. I am. Yeah, he is. All we, all we did is fire training missiles at Dylan. I know, I know, I know. This is clearly war games, you know. They, they, they're a thing. They're definitely a thing. Therefore, we must join the side of right. <laughs> okay. Right um, now. Who, who blinks first? <laughs> well, who can we afford to have blink first? Well, that is a good question. That is a very good question. <laughs> well, we have our answer. Is muted. Whoops. Apparently, because you've not said anything in a while. Oh, yeah, whoops. It's all good. Aegon is launching all you of his silos. Oh, he's launched all of his silos. Aegon is defenseless right now. He needs Houston. I don't really care. Carol is out of sync. Yeah, I noticed. I yes. matters, really. I, so, you know how you said you play ships after the facts? Oh. Out, don't do that, because then... Just, the radar just, I was just targeting. Well, just let it begin. Yeah. Radar Aegon seriously is defenseless. He's firing from all of his silos. Yeah, but... Sometimes that, that can work. It can work, <laughs> but... If you survive the defensive round... It tends to overwhelm defenses, and then leaves you with all your defenses up for when the retaliations come, but True. 
in that, the This is why I've asked for multiple people to help out with this, but... Uh, I have bombers on at, uh, at a... Not many, because a lot of them are really out of... Oh! Hello. Those are submarines. Are they? They might well be. Uh, look, uh, just off the coast of, um... Detected, oh my detected. god, this is going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> mm. Egan's down to 76 already. Fighters launch, please. Hardly knew you. Oh. Okay, no airbase, that's fine. <laughs> no, not Bamcaro! Oh. Bamcaro! Oh my god! <laughs> Those people are so lucky they have no idea! <laughs> I am really out of position for what I thought was going to happen, so... <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Damako! No! Oh, after the radar. Ah, okay. Oh, too bad. Look, I, I just want Aegon to shine, is that a problem? Aegon? <laughs> what? Shine? What? Well, yeah, certainly yes. the amount of nukes I've thrown in it. Yes. With a healthy green glow. Ah, I gotcha. I'll be annoyed if that hits. Hmm. Do I? Oh, I do. Okay. So Egan has lost 47.3 million people. Yes, if the aim of the game was to lose all of your population. You mean it isn't? It's thermonuclear um, war. Please note that America started this. Yeah, South America. South America. South America, certainly. No, North America. <laughs> South America. The aggressors. South America. No, we they, stand by our allies. They nuked Mexico. They did! <laughs> I mean, that's a different kind of wall when you need radiation shielding. <laughs> we will build the wall. Oh, also, why do you have Minsk, Shadow? What do you mean, why do I have Minsk? I know. It's mine! Because that's not Russia. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a bit of debate around certain things in that region at the moment, but it's definitely not Russia. Uh, no, no, no. Minsk is in Belarus. It's Donetsk. It's in that uh, region. Yes, and it's, it's in White Russia. So, I really don't know what you were expecting with the bomber launch there. You didn't give them enough time to arm the warheads, Dylan. I didn't know it was a thing. What? They have to arm the warheads? Yeah. Well, yeah, it takes yeah. Them a little while. I didn't know it was a thing in this game. How many times have I played this? No, not Glasgow. 
Oh, just and you've also flown one. them into a very large air defense. Bloody nuke. Unfortunately, that one begs the question. They nuked Glasgow. How can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Uh, it's okay. not there anymore. Well, I'll tell you what, Egan. If you want to join the alliance, I'm going to vote yes, just because you're now no longer a problem for winning. Uh, no, please don't. I've got nukes on the way. This is definitely the plan, then. There aren't any alliances in this, really. Is that? It's just either you're in the green or you're at on your own, isn't it? Pretty much. Ah, oh, three votes are required. You're out. Sorry. Well, you can't see anyone else's stuff, can you? Oh, so who's... oh. Cheryl. Your... chips. His chips? What's wrong with his chips? She has they're many being, of them. They're being destroyed. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, not that I'm advocating uh, things, but Connor is still at a hundred. I mean, we are allied. We are ignoring Africa. <laughs> I, I can't do anything. I'm so out of place. All of my allies are around me, and I thought I'd be surrounded by enemies. Oh, I can fix that problem for you. No, no I'd rather not. Hey! Oh, <laughs> That's not nice! I said I fixed the problem for you. I mean, come on. Now you can attack whoever you want. Oh. Oh. You can join down. So you can join the green team. Here we go. Well, half the population of Tokyo is dead. Oh God! I didn't know you liked Tokyo so much. Scramble! No, there's Mara Hawaii. Well, they were already there, and you know somebody <laughs> told them that war would be glad. Mind you, so am I. <laughs> Oh dear. Things are not. Oh god! And since uh, Maritime's proven that they're relatively safe there. <laughs> 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 I mean, why not? Oh that... shit, I did the thing oh, that, that I think that yeah, Charles did. To be fair, you got three silos there. You should be fine, but. Very double hitting escape just like crushed, closes the game. I don't know about that! <laughs> Well, you know, it's only 60 missiles in close proximity. Some half of mine are targeting your um, silos, but you know. And it thinks Defcon is still running, so I can't relaunch it. Let me bring it up. Oh, and it's gonna land in and Wuhan set. Or Africa. It was a barren and desolate wasteland. No, it was a barren and desolate wasteland. <laughs> yeah. no, that's you. No, that's just slightly more radioactivity. Okay, that's that's a slightly bright. more barren and desolate wasteland. How could you tell? It blows even at night. <laughs> oh, where's Connor trying to launch from? Yeah, he's trying to. Oh, I see. I see. Well, I think, I think that's a good set, oh. combined attack there. All right, Dylan's now owned by the AI, so, Egan? Oh, oh shit, God, I you am. Don't, you no longer really have an ally. Oh. Well, I don't know how the AI are going to work in this situation, that's all. Hold on, who left this alive? Dylan's is an old American. Dylan's an AI, yeah. This is why oh, I'm not yeah. sure what he's going to do in an alliance with you. There was only North America, so... <laughs> Beijing's hit! Oh, yeah. he's back. Welcome Let's back. Watch the AI turn all my like silos on, probably. No, it's still in air defense mode. No one has a nuke coming. Just the one. Just the one. I think you could do better than that. Shanghai down. I haven't said that in a long time. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Somebody's got some nukes oh. into Dylan there. 
That was yeah. 10 million just lost. New York. <laughs> He's got, got two that. silos there. How'd you hit that? New York. New York. M multiple shots on the same target tends to. Yeah, yeah, it's still a bit of a surprise, that's all. I wanna be a part of it. No, you don't. New York. It takes so long to reconnect, jeez. Jesus, I've still got four subs alive there. <laughs> oh! Keep that. Just wait about 40 seconds, Dylan's, before voting on that. <laughs> I don't have reconnected yet. Oh. I'm in. Yeah, just leave it to time out. I mean, I don't think he's too badly out of all that. I know a lot happened, but he's still got his um, his defences around his main area. I mean, unless Marishin has his second um, subfleet somewhere near where mine is right now. Ah, so abstention doesn't work. Huh. Why would I have that? What are you thinking? I wanna be a part of it. Yeah. You are part of it, sir. You're a big part of the war with your 29 <laughs> people left. Hmm. Yes, all subs still in the middle of the Pacific. <laughs> what exactly? Well, thanks for warning somebody of that. They're very usefully placed, I'm sure. Very unusefully placed. They have, they've been moving the entire game. <laughs> this well, is gonna be my excuse always, isn't it? I've had my reprise on Nero. What did you reprise? Uh, he nuked I South America. <laughs> he nuked the rainforest. Oh come on, you shouldn't have bought. I've also destroyed a large number of his silos as well. They were already empty. Hold on, <laughs> Hold on, yeah, this but they're is... no longer uh, threats to anti uh missiles. Or they no longer have any Well, like since he siloed up, let's go for this. <laughs> Launchers detected. Launch Launch detected! Launch. And I got a radar. Perfect. Should we go to speed free? I'm well, I'm in the Well, I guess I'm in detail, it's fine. It's fine. I've done my I've done my sub attack since the timing seems correct. Yeah, but you can carry on Connor to well, so it will increase speed. Yeah, yeah, but I've done the important bit now, so. Just in case of how many of my subs will survive long enough to fire things. More if he's going to fire yet more of them. Pittsburgh. I wanna be a bird. David. My back, my back. You want to be part of your back? I want somebody to crack my back. Okay. Let the record show that uh, Egan wants uh, someone to break his back. Yep, uh, that's what I had. There's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Yeah, he's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of a single more reasonable explanation than that. So the reasonable explanation is that I'm unreasonable. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is a good question, Onion. What have no way ever done to us? It was there. Does it count? Can we nuke Norway because it was there? Uh, I, I, I did add more cities, so... Well, that's what we do did with the other thing, so... We nuked them because they were there. Yeah, makes sense to me. Well, personally, I just nuked them because I didn't like the color of the wall. 
Well, you know, you've got to have the walls in the correct colour. It's just got to be done. The on green. Perfect oh, colour. Was there an avocado bathtub or... Although, to be honest, given the damage we actually did, I feel like we were lobbing guacamole, not nuclear fission warheads, but... Only fission? That seems a bit sauce. Come on. I know, so quite hurt. Yeah, but most of that damage has come from Shadow's sub right off the coast. Yeah, I did. I did quite well with that. Just like most of Connor's pain came from my sub and Shadow's sub off of his coast. I'm expecting a, a I'm expecting a couple of sub points. fleets to be attacking me any moment now. I've got to be honest. Mexico hit. And there, were, and there was much, much rejoicing, apparently. Yeah, no, nobody is attacking me. This is bizarre. Victory time has started. You've got to do 20 damage to me. I've tried to attack you. You just have too good of an air defense. It also helps that I destroyed most of your attacking things. And then yes. I'm attacking over your country. Over it. Carol leaves the Red Alliance. Traitor! Oh, we gave it a go. But yeah, clearly the Mara Shadow Alliance is the best alliance. I mean, we had a coordinated attack on um, on the on Connor. We did, and it was it was uh, a brilliantly coordinated attack. I mean, I mean, to be fair, we just had the subs in the same place, and he deployed first, and they didn't immediately die. So therefore, of course, I deployed mine. <laughs> Which is always the risk when you deploy subs; they just straight up die. Well, the I have so many nukes left. So do I. It's depressing. I don't even have that many targets for them. <coughs> Speed up a bit, or yeah. I've got, to, I've got to destroy the yellow alliance that's just appeared. I don't trust it. The yellow alliance is nothing. <laughs> Whoa, we didn't have Toyagan left my alliance. I didn't mean to tell that. Well, I, I, I don't know where your fleet was, but I know where mine was. Kyro, click that. Agree to a ceasefire. I want my missiles oh, to get no, a shot. Oh, no, if you just click ceasefire on somebody, um, it actually just means your ships won't fire on them. Oh, okay. Just FYI. They have, they have to, they have to. Yeah, they have to push yeah. that button as well. I want, I want my stuff to get to, uh, to shatter, so. Disarm that, disarm that, disarm that. Join me, join me, the glory is still alive. see some yellow missiles coming towards me. The Yellow Alliance wants Dylan to win, apparently. 20 points needed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was winning until I didn't talk to the Yellow Alliance. Dang it! You <laughs> were, and, and then you did so without realising that, you know, my subfleet was just sat there off the coast of Shanghai. This is how diplomacy yeah, games I go. It's sort of... I, I actually like survivor mode because it does fun. always point a target as who you should be tar attacking, but also it points at two slightly lesser targets you need to prepare for. Because Aegon needs to basically take points of everybody. Connor needs to take points of everybody who isn't Aegon. Mara needs to take points of everybody who isn't Aegon and Connor, and so on. But Dylan's is losing a ton of points here. What's oh, is there we go. I just pipped Cairo. Oh, I might have hit Cairo. Chicago's hit 4.4 million dead. That'll do. All right, I'm now winning by 32 with half an hour left. Wow, indeed. <laughs> Speed up. Oh, I, can, I can only hope that these hit Dylan hard enough, but I doubt it. Mm, oh, probably. come on. Why do you have such good defense around Mexico? 
Well, I don't have any time. defense around Mexico, but okay. <laughs> Fine, Egan. You can. No, okay. No, you can't. He's just applying to everybody, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you know, I'm nice. I'm advantaged in the game. The more alliances I'm in, the better. <laughs> Jones is still my top target, though. Come on, I got come on. Slides. Where are you? It hits. What were you trying to hit? Mexico. Okay. I have no interest in Mexico. Now we have to hurt Carol more. Why would you do such a thing, Egan? Because you hit me. Oh, Egan's fleet's finally decided to come and attack me. I've been expecting it all game. <laughs> what? Where? Oh. The fleet you've had in the um, in the Arctic for since the start of the game, sir. Fires a missile. Fires a missile. Fire all the missiles. I'm winning by 36 at the moment. I've got 86 percent of my population still alive somehow. I literally every single missile I sent you was shot down over Greenland, Iceland even. I've only got the one air defense on there, I'm not sure why. Yeah, it's <laughs> a bit odd with that kind of stuff, to be honest at times. I mean, mass attack with subs is good if you can get away with it, but... As no, as no damage is being done, then I look back and I see like only have three missiles left traveling of the ten or so I sent. I watched them all blip out of it's, existence. It's focus over fire and timing, because I think the thing with sub attacks is you have to get the timing right. And also not this reveal from, them on top of carriers. Which yeah, I've this done. is from my sight eyes. Well, I ain't going to send the everything at this fleet, which only had one job to scan for subs, so. Oh no, I'm getting hit! Eighty-four. Come on, don't hit that one. It's my last pride and joy. <laughs> the last ship with any kind of attack capabilities. Come on, keep missing. Keep missing. Keep missing. They missed it. London, they? London is hit. Yeah, London is hit. Good shit. Not quite sure whether Shadow just swore or mispronounced it. You said good hit. Yes. You said good shit, so. <laughs> yes, okay. You did. Fair enough. You did. Then my work week is coming out into the stream. <laughs> no, the feeling. Oh, man. You, right, you, need, you need a so, swear jar. If, if you need justification for swearing, right? Uh, at work, we, we rent our building, at least, right? Yep. The lease is uh, due for renewal in 12 months. So the landlord comes, has a look around, and says, Yeah, I like what you've done with the place. I'm happy to renew for a, a 10 year lease this time. Fair enough. But I want to put the rent a bit. Well, fair enough. You know, a couple of percent or whatever. I'm thinking that's, that's fine. It's understandable. Comes back 72% raise. <laughs> uh, 72% raise, raise in rent. I guess you're getting a new building. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to view one on Sunday, and yeah, we phoned the lighting agent and said, you know, what's available because we're going to need a new building, and, this, uh, and they explained why. And they went, are they mad? <laughs> They're going to lose a good tenant for that, and body, body, body. And then they kind of edited it with, well, it sounds like them. It's like, oh, right, okay, so they're kind of known for doing damn shit like this, are they? I don't random desperate sub launch from somebody who's probably Aegon. Oh, good job, Shadow. You kept most of Europe alive. I did. Most of it. Because I believed in the Alliance. I don't know which Alliance I believed in, but I believed in it. 
He believed in the secret alliance, yeah. which is the only which alliance that matters. I mean, in terms of how the game went, I kicked Mara out, then he was the only ally Isn't at the end. Where were these Sorry, sub Sorry, Meryl had 39 nukes left? Hold on, hold on. Can I see where he's are on the map? Oh yeah, they're all in the bombers and carriers. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to use them all at the end of the game, but... It's a bit oh. of a bugger to use bombers. I always have issues No, I, I always alpha strike with bombers. First thing you I do, mean, because no one knows where they are. There are additional um, nukes that tend to get lost in airstrips and things, which is always annoying, but... It doesn't count. Yeah, if you bomb us in the they, they don't count those, though, because yeah, I have some doesn't. left over. But I have two nukes left, left in my carriers. Well, oh. because I fly anywhere because of my border to fucking Mexico. If I fly my. If my, if my things leave the airbase, immediately Mara starts shooting them down. Well, Anion, I did tell you that I don't think anyone would mind if you annex Shep. Oh. So. No, probably not. <laughs> like I said, even Shadow probably wouldn't mind. <laughs> The other reason why I might have more nukes is because I waited until Deathcon 2 to try and place my subs. Ah! Oh. Uh, uh, less quiet. He didn't let me. So, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I'm trying to reconnect. Don't think it's succeeding. Node root size mismatch. Fatal error. So, uh, what do we do now? Um, planning in, I'm planning a last game. I'm just seeing what I can do with the game modes here. Uh, wanna do 3v3? Okay, um, there's probably a way to set up permanent alliances. Um, yes, there is. Yeah, team switching dis um, disabled. So yeah, we have to join the team. By the way, this is going to be genocide. So, if we got three territories each, do you want me to do random, or do we want to do a specific alliance here? Uh, let's do the Americas and Africa and uh, Europe... Uh, South America and Russia. Nah, Northern and Southern Hemispheres. Let's go. Okay. Um. Because <laughs> that makes it a lot harder to defend. Alright, North versus South then. Um, once uh, the last player's in. He's missing, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, ah, Egan's on his own team. Okay, good. Egan can be on his own team. No, it's 3v3. <laughs> <laughs> once we colour up, anyway. It's all be Egan. <laughs> it's all being Egan. Alright. Kill the Egan, kill the Egan. Alright, so I'm going to roll for our team. Odds odds north, evens is south. Okay. I roll a 16, so my team is south, but I don't know which team I'm on yet, so... <laughs> okay. South be red, why not? Uh, I mean, that's the issue, is we can't pick countries, so we don't even know what country we are. Oh, that's fine, because I put the thing on there, hold on. Uh, you got a random territory here. Uh, to do random territories, no. Okay, so we get the south ones. Um, I'm probably going to... get south? Yeah, we got south, so it depends how we want to split this. I'll go South America. Okay. That leaves Africa for Chiral. Okay. <laughs> Don't you love the diplomacy of Bob there, Carol? <laughs> <laughs> How do we divvy up the world? Well, yeah. I get China and India. I get the workforce and the factories. I get... You get the drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get the drugs. <laughs> and uh, Carol gets, um... It's Africa. The two combined. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I got the workforce, uh, he gets the drugs, you get Africa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I think of a way of Africa. Just you get Africa. <laughs> they have Carol, good food right. and some somewhat funny hats. And some very, very nasty diseases. So team switching should yes. be on. I don't also, know, I mean, Shadow has India, so... They well, yeah. all have very nasty diseases. Look. With the South Hemisphere has elephants, which I'm sure is going to be very useful for global thermal and nuclear war. We could strap nukes to their back. You could. Just an FYI, North America the only way you score points is what? by nuking. We're on Dude. genocide rules. The last time I looked, I was playing Russia, but I guess I'm playing North America. All right. Um, so then. I thought, yeah, you were. You were playing North America in that last game. Yeah, I was, but I'm playing Russia this game. Someone's not selected yet. Oh, it's Hagen that's not selected then. I'm selected. I'm in Europe. Oh, no, I'm in Europe. Yeah, it's Dylan's who's not ready, so it's Dylan's who's not selected, I think. No, I selected it. Yay. I'm in Europe. Guys, we we, we decided this, like, immediately. 
All right. It was being weird though. Apparently, apparently, Aegon unselected me because I was Europe before anybody else had picked. Okay, begin genocide. I was confused. Am I am I Russia then? <laughs> yes. All right. Maybe. Europe, where you don't have met much space. Uh, who's in Africa? It's Chiral, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I think I'm going to deploy in a helpful manner for you. Yeah, that would uh, be Helpful bullets. Just be aware I'm probably sacrificing myself for the team at this point. Um... Oops. We can use a whiteboard. You can not know about that. Which is occasionally very helpful. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh well. Yeah, now we have. Okay. Let's just have a quick look at how things are at the moment. I, I, I think that 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 makes everything clear. Okay. Remember, we have a plan. <coughs> it's a rubbish plan. But we'll stick to it anyway. Defcon 4. There's only one tiny flaw in the plan. Tyrell, I would move those battleships <laughs> back a bit. Or at least move more stuff up to help them. Yes. No need, no need. Me and Dylan are about to both lose this, our fleets on each other, I think. <laughs> this, this, is, this is gonna explode. Well, that's yeah. kind of the point. The situation between Asia and Russia is deteriorating. You're deteriorating. I mean, slowly, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Remember, you only get points for killing in this mode. And remember, blue clearance is better than green clearance. Yes, yes it is. It's true story. There's just more of them than the, there are of us. And it's kicked off. Five fleets enter. Oh god, Mara, that fleet in the middle. That has no hope. Well, its hope is to just fling fighters and do damage. Concentrate. Yay! Well, 
dog. Dylan's fleet is dead. Although I do spot a marriage carrier approaching. Yeah, I'm moving my battleships up to support. Look at that, the mid-Atlantic there, oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's a great battle. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't gone to DEFCON 2 earlier with that slog. <laughs> Seems a lot more blue than green though. Well, yeah, that just means they're hiding yes, their stuff. Yes, because uh, Mara didn't send in his fleet. For a reason. For a reason. Then leave this one. Hi, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's always the problem in North America. They have to split their fleets up a lot. That is an issue, but also... Hi, Carol. You know all those carriers that you thought you'd snuck through? Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Hi, Carol. Oh, God, I'm... Uh... I can try and give some support here. There's another carrier. And another. That's bad. I'm having too much fun with this whiteboard. <laughs> well, I can't see your whiteboard statements, I don't think, unless I can. No, it's not a team, it's not a team whiteboard. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh, you're gonna get stuck there, aren't you? Oh my goodness, I'm potentially dealing with a lot of um, Dylan's bombers here, but... I didn't know that about bombers. Shit, I'm an idiot. Well, I was quite happy you sent them, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, they can't launch nukes until DEFCON 1. No. I mean, sometimes yeah. it's worth doing that as a pre-up, as a pre-step to it, but that was a bit early. <laughs> and I noticed. Okay, let's try to mitigate that damage. Uh, Connor, Maris subs in near Mexico. Yeah, I know. I've already noticed. Yep, just, I just FYI in case you haven't. <laughs> airplanes on route. I don't even know what I'm doing with these. I'm just going to have to deploy them here and hope they can range, maybe. Let's just play this nice and calmly, shall we? Also, Maris subs near um, near Lagos. I uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> talking wibbly things as always. Alright, lunch is detected. Lots of lunch. <coughs> I managed to save some bombers. Oh, we're disappointed to hear that. That's, that's clearly you not trying hard enough. <laughs> Actually, the one. Actually, it's 
No, no, stop. How do I... How do you... Cancel. Cancel orders. Oh. Uh, marriage is up a few yeah, like, points. You didn't launch nukes at us, did you? No, I, I cancelled them at nowhere. <laughs> oh, not the statement I wanted to make. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you get smart. Destroy their farmlands and then they'll starve to death in the cities. Oh yeah, this is true. It's a potential plan. Just bloody fun. Probably should not have launched those. Uh, Dylan's has thrown a lot of his defense in middle Europe. Go and attack. Yep, he's thrown down all his defense in middle Europe. No, that's Kaiserreich. Come on. No! Come on. Your nuclear warheads. You hit something. Oh, I would like to... The sub should probably have been moved a little closer, but his defenses should be minimized. I don't feel I've been cheated. Cheated by who? Yeah, by the game. Come on! Silo destroyed on Dylan's side, so he's got less defenses now, but... We'll see how that goes. Uh, you thinking who's who? Okay, this is on principle. <laughs> I'm going to destroy that I'm radar... Russia. I'm going to destroy that radar station, whatever it takes. That's your only objective in this war? Yes. Good. That's an objective I can live with. Now, Gara's up to 22 points. His uh, sub attack has gone well. Yeah, he's hit something big, I think. I think he's hit Probably. North Europe. Alright, Connor's deploying. Good. Now, so there's some collateral on the hit here. Collateral damage is acceptable damage. I mean,. There's no need to worry about that. Oh, that's a big old white dot over Moscow. Yep. Nah, I wouldn't worry. It's all good. This is fine. There's white dots over Mexico all the time. Oof, you got lucky there. <laughs> that was close. Come on, just hit it! No! We grumble, grumble, grumble! Come on. Come on. No! This one has to... I also forgot that, of course, Egan and Dylan's are really close to the end of this map, so I keep mistaking who's who. Yep. <laughs> Come 
Come on. doing okay at the moment. Mind you. Yeah, mostly for poor Egan. Hey. Hmm. What poor Egan? You've been shot a lot. He has been shot. A lot. I would contend that I've been shot significantly more. Uh, possibly not paying attention to you. Well, that's a lot of weight. Yeah, it's just kind of going mad on focus. Because the problem with North America is if they do get through your defenses, you've just got all of your population in very, very small areas. Yep. And I believe I've taken out your silos in Alaska as well. Indeed, brown. Uh, I think they'd already brown. launched, mostly. Because I was slamming east in uh, Asia. Airbase destroyed. Good morning, good morning to you. Morning! Good morning, good There's morning. lots of morning. If you look at those <laughs> dots. Good morning. good morning to you. They're just... When the band began to play, the suns were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way, it's right to say good night. And good morning, good morning. Uh, I don't think you're going to have much population left. Ah, no, but we're not scoring on population. No, we're scoring on death. That is true, but I see which oh, is the king of that at the nuke, moment. Nuke for... Oh no. Kinshasa. Hit. But heading for... Lumbashi. Scramble distractions! I have no nukes left, I think. Just that one bomber. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Well, there are no people living in Cairo anymore. <laughs> Hong Kong's been very much depopulated, I think, right now. Alright. Problem I've got is I'm one. about to lose a lot of um, a lot of East Asia to Maras here. Those are my subs. Are they your subs? I thought they were Maras. Oh god. <laughs> they stuck fast. I don't even know where mine are attempting to go, so. I'm going to have a sub-fleet unused by the end of this because I put them in a stupid position again. Oh, that was a good silo to hit. Sorry, Egan. Uh, I don't care. I uh, th there's my assessment of the situation on our whiteboard, gentlemen. I can't see it. Oh, maybe if I have to click whiteboard too. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I can't read that. It's green, with a lot of green is dissecting it. Oh, <laughs> it's, goodbye, Santiago. It's dead. Mostly dead. Oh, Any question? Oh, yeah. I just put doom over the entirety of Asia. I... I... Could... I... Uh, just buggered Europe very badly. 
Yeah, I, I like pie. I like pie too. Yeah, could you not do that, Connor? It's oh, not bad. Ooh, Dylan, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky Bricky. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't aware that was a thing I could do. <laughs> I thought I shut that off. <laughs> Two and one, vote passes. Okay, hold on. Assuming Shadow will just leave again, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was a mistake. I was supposed to turn that ability <coughs> off, but just FYI, it's there. <laughs> All right, victory timer. Yeah, I have nothing to do. I'm just speed free now. No, no, I've got a couple of things I can do. I, mean, I never, I never use these, although they've got no chance of getting through. They like Ike. Uh -huh. Future, break your chip. Oh, bye, Lima. Awesome. Oh, it's not Lima. Okay. Future, future. Ne. Bio jedan. Mislim da bio jedan. See, spy games going on. Da. Ne. Pa, pogledajte, pogledajte. Well, ne znam. Kupio sam ih osam jučer. I apparently just got booted from the game. Hold up a second, I'll try to get back in. Oh, you're currently winning it, so... Nemam pojma više. Unless Carol suddenly lays the smack down on some things. Connor dropped. We're about to see whether Connor AI wants to leave or not. Mike, Mike, come on, where is it? All of Mary Penning Noops are just in bombers. So. Yeah, I've got a I've got a sub fleet that's doing nothing, but that'll explain why I got a twenty six this game. That's that and trying people. to crack the um, the Eurasia Alliance up top. Oh, they we successfully protected Moscow. Yeah, yeah because it's between two of you, that's really awkward to get around. We did lose oh, five million happy. there. The Central Russia is kind of alright, yeah. I suppose you're both Europe and, um, and yeah. Russia cover from that position, but we'll see. They like Ike. I think I've got most of my last of the nukes in the air. They like Ike, and Ike says he don't wanna. That makes Ike the kind of player I like. And once more, they seem to think he's gonna. But yeah, what? Ellen, why have you got so many nukes? I have a lot of nukes. We've got 24 remaining, apparently. I got 58. I wow. don't have that many remaining. Hurry up and reconnect. You do. They're all in our bases, I would think. It counts them until the end of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I imagine so. Why I still have some so bombers, to, to be honest. Except... Uh, can I move uh, my bombers to a different airbase? Yes. Okay. Can you? Yeah, you yes. just target the different air base. Yeah. Yeah, I thought oh, that'd have been uh, useful to remember sure. last game. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Okay, it's taking a long time to reconnect. Yeah, it does. It's got a horrible rejoin system. It's kind of like uh, Blizzard games. We can actually maybe use some more of these uh, things. I think I still have a couple of bombers left over. So off I go to fight the foe of fleet that you beside me And I stole her meds that upon the road and all know when to find me Like the snake that cannot break the chains of all that bind me And I can do the dead and they go behind me I mean... Yeah, but I we didn't really get this, but Kyra, I mean, I don't know whether this would work. Let's try it. The attack on uh, South America oh, didn't really go. Not gonna let me do it. Oh, maybe it will. Maybe it will.
Okay, I'm back. Welcome oh. back, sir. 23 minutes. The AI finally defended your coastline. Did it? No. No. <laughs> I mean, first, none of my nukes got through. I'll be right back. Okay. So he's gonna be left back. Also, Carter, uh, I realize you're just back actually, so don't worry. Speed free. Yep. I don't know if I can't do this thing, but um Do I still get some points for this? Uh, I still got more nukes left, so they're on the way. <laughs> My points are going up! Oh, this is clearly working. Yeah. Oh no, no, they're going down. Okay, um I need to do something. Ah! Oh, sure. We can't let Egan have more success at nuking the world than you. There really we go. <laughs> Look, I need the points, and I had the subfleet in South Africa doing nothing. <laughs> I mean, you can't lose points, Connor, so it doesn't really matter to you. Yeah, I know. We did, we did okay. We did okay. I did it on a house on a hill. By the way, for the moment the legacy version of that comes on tabletop simulator, we're playing it. Uh, did you see that the humble bundle uh, has done the bo uh, like virtual board games one, where they've got a bunch of. Um, I think I own most of the things. Yeah. Do you own like Agricola and stuff? In the actual like dedicated game. Uh, wasn't that just the mobile app, or am I thinking of something else? Uh, so there might be mobile ones, but I mean, for the sake of like a couple of dollars, you can just get all the ones on your phone and play them mm -hmm. in the board. Some of them are PC versions. Oh, I'll have a look at that properly later. Yeah, I, I pour out now, so 10 days left. Uh, I'm not going to get 40 well. points worth of kills here, so I think Connor still wins, but... Oh, oh hey, the Popeye Adventure card game. Which is a good game. Oh. Avalone, <laughs> for Android, Agricola. No, that's the PC version. Yeah. Shadow, PC Shadow, look at our whiteboard. Look, look at our what? Whiteboard. Look at our what? Whiteboard. Cold Express. Look, you have to write it bigger than that or I can't read it, sir. <laughs> Okay. You have to make it wrap the world twice before I accept that. <laughs> okay. Hey, I can go nuke Minsk with my uh, bomber now, actually, because they can betray me. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Oh, that's moving that. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh. Yep, uh. I'm reading it properly now. Third uh, letter. Well, it looks like I'm going to be able to hit Manchester and Hamburger, maybe. Hamburg. It's not there we go. <laughs> Manchester is gone. Do I think he would trade me sooner there we again. Go. That's anyway. much better, yeah. Reagan. Victory to Connor. And to the blue team in general. <laughs> Which you would have been a part of, but you left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a subfleet in South Africa, no ability to do anything, and I was losing points from the new side fired at him anyway. <laughs> he couldn't have less points than Aiken, Connor. How do you not understand this? <laughs> this this is also true. This is also true. Yes. <laughs>